This is just a short video to show you the simple measures it takes to look after your stick insect. Here is my home for my little stick insects. Uh, I'm going to clean it out. As you can see, um, they've got some good reading material on the bottom. And all this is their poo from all the leaves they've been eating. You see they've been having a good munch on those. All oh, this is gone. Look at that. Really having a good munch. My stick insects, I've put them in here. Wow. There's three of them in there while I clean their enclosure. It's got a metal mesh on top to let it breathe. I like to have a little transparent Perspex screen that I put in front so that I can have a look inside during the day without disturbing them too much. Um, but I've got to clean their enclosure right now. So let's do that. Here is a week's worth of stick insect poo. Uh, there's about one and a half teaspoons full there. And if you want to see what a stick insect looks like when they pass away, here is my fourth stinky insect who unfortunately didn't make it a week ago. Uh, so as you can see, they, they eat a fair bit of those leaves and um, that's what it looks like. Now, I'm not going to throw that out. I can, that's probably going to make good soil. I'm going to put that in um, some pot plants. All right, I've put some new reading material into their home. Uh, they really like the sports section, so I make sure that they um, get up to date on the latest sports. Now, what I love about this, uh, their home, is that uh, it's exactly the width of an open newspaper. I just love it. It makes it so much easier to, to put it or to clean it out, line it again, and make it ready for them. So I've just cleaned the water in these three containers, a uh, plastic container, a uh, former honey jar, and a jam jar. And I've just poked holes in the top to stick the gum tree leaves or branches uh, through the top so that they can stay watered and they stay good for well, probably more than a week but I change at least uh, um, every week if not every um, every few days. Uh, so I've topped those up with fresh water and I've cleaned them out and uh, getting ready for the next step. What I'm doing here is I'm filling up those jars, the poking um, twigs and branches and leaves through the uh, holes in the top of these containers. Uh, so that uh, my stick insects have some yummy, healthy, fresh food. And I, I, whenever I am going to work or whenever I'm going for a nice walk, I just keep an eye out for some nice, healthy looking leaves to give my stick insects. Okay, it's all set up, so I'm just going to give it a quick spray. Just make sure that there's a bit of moisture on those leaves for them to eat, or drink I should say and they'll be enjoying those leaves in no time. And now for the final bit, I'm going to take this leaf and it's night time, so it's fair, they're going to be fairly still as I take them out. You can see, one, two, three. And I'm going to poke this into, now I'm just doing this slowly because I don't want them to uh, be too disturbed, but um, yeah, they'll be quite happy crawling all over my arm or over my hand. Uh, the only thing they eat is uh, leaves. So they'll be pretty happy to be uh, oops, in this new home. Let's have a look. Where are they? Where'd they go? Did I drop them? No, there's one there. And where'd the other two go? And two and three. So, one, two, three. Lovely. Look at this beautiful new home. I get to enjoy for a few more days until I clean it out again <laughs> and start all over. And they will have grown a bit by then too.